hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel this is fun pop with lillian so as the next big brother reality show is about kicking off big brother decided to pen down a final farewell letter to the ex big brother housemates that is the shine your eye housemates and the letter left us emotional as it was personalized so starting with saga Big Brother wrote, Saga, you showed us that it was okay for a man to wear his heart on his sleeve. You showed us it was possible to create genuine friendship and bonds that we are worth sacrificing for. Shout out to Nini as well. Who never heard back in saying things for what they wear. We wish you and Saga the best in your friendship in the real world. Aww. <laughs> Big Brother, uh, like this is a, a beautiful one for Saga and Nene. Okay, and then moving on to Princess, Big Brother wrote, Hey Princess, you came with your papers and you made sure you didn't lose focus. Thank you for bringing a different dynamic to the game and putting it out there that it's okay for a woman to be all about her business. Exactly, like the Princess we saw in the house wasn't joking about. Like, I remember then, I thought it was just all about her taxi, coming out and making it, but anyway good luck to her okay the next housemate being aaron aaron you came to the house with a unique sense of self and turned out to be a housemate whose style had never been seen on the show wow your empathy towards your fellow housemates and trying to understand their struggle is a lesson we will never forget guys like you have to give it to aaron when it comes to being um empathetic and lovely like she was always there for her friends okay biggie roots to kevy kevy you had a short time in the house but this did not stop you from shining and getting the spotlight for yourself thanks for letting us understand that it's okay to take time out to take care for ourselves when it seems like we are losing touch with all that's around us like <sighs> kevy's case like we all should take our mental health very, very serious and always reach out to friends as well. Michael and Queen, you both came on the show while it was already well on its way, but you still managed to make a statement and give us moments that will forever remain in BB Niger history. Hmm. Especially for Michael, like Michael was winning money back to back. <laughs> Like the few weeks he stayed, this guy won enough mola, and Queen as well. Wow. She left a legacy. <laughs> okay, JNK. Hello, JNK. Stress and drama free are a few terms to describe your time in the house. We hope you have as much peace in life as you strive to gain in the house. Wow, like Biggie really knows his children <laughs> very well. <laughs> Like, I know, um, JMK, I think she had a short time as well, but then, mm, that booty. Anyways, moving on to Jackie B. Jackie B, you were a true description of focus. You came and got the experience you wanted without ever forgetting the loved ones you left outside the house. Exactly. Especially her son. Like two four seven, Jackie was always talking about her son and not wanting her son to see another part of her and all that. But I guess it's all love for her loved ones. Okay, then moving on to yourself. Yourself, we are glad to have had your calm, personal grace our screens. We will always remember how cool you were with your fellow housemates and the slick way in which you expressed your interest in having relationship. With some of the fine ladies in the house. Finally, your famous diary station stood out as highlights almost every week, and we are glad to have those moments on our screen. Oh, this is so touchy. Maria, here is to the housemates who at different times helped Biggie throw a cover or two into the house. Maria, you were unapologetic about who you were and made everyone get to the program. Your incredible acting skills and willingness to get down to a little mischief here and there with Biggie will always be a big part of Big Brother Niger history. Like, come on, the wild card, you know, <laughs> hey, God, Maria, Maria. 
Okay, J. Paul, you showed us a man could accept pressure on his love interest while still being a complete gentleman. Your calm nature and your choice to wear your heart on your sleeve did not go unnoticed. We hope you eventually get to find that one person you will get all the love and affection you have in your heart. Aww. Oh, Biggie, this is so emotional. <laughs> J. Paul is a lover boy, we all saw that. And moving on to Perry, Perry the general, general, we salute you. Thanks for bringing great entertainment and amazing highlight to the show. You were tactical and could read certain intentions from a mile away, which made you an awesome combination of smarts and wits. We respect that about you and hope to see you thrive in all your endeavors. Like, give it up for Perry. Perry was a smart one, you know. A general is always a general. Sasuke, you were never to be caught without your lips popping. We did not know if that's why certain heads kept spinning in the house. But we do know that your cool yet mesmerizing personnel had a lot of the viewers spellbound. Also, your calm demo and ability to manage people's expectation of you will always be memorable. Wow, <laughs> Sasuke is the last, the beautiful thing herself. Moving on to Yerins. Yerins, the polymath, you are determined to break the stereotype in the house. Just as you've always done in life and took every opportunity you had to school your fellow housemates, we salute your courage in pushing the boundaries and wishing you success. Oh, Yerins. Yerins, the professor, like, <laughs> Yerins, the almighty, I know it all. Good luck to Yerins as well. And then to peace, peace, you showed yourself a true confidence as you skillfully moved through the various relationship dynamics in the house. Right from your stint at the first head of house for the season, you showed a complete skill for managing people and getting the best out of them. Thanks for creating amazing highlights from your head of house stint to the bond you created in the house. Peace, peace, peace. One of the powerful girls. <laughs> cross, cross, cross. The life of every party and resident enjoyment master. Your almost childlike attitude towards having fun all through the season has endeared many to you. You played your part in giving life to the house with the various games you put your fellow partners up to and made sure the Saturday night parties were lit. No, give it up for cross. Like, life of the party. <laughs> And the drunkard after each party. Nay, the gentle giant, you came across as one of the sweetest men in the house, making sure you kept whatever value you held dear to your heart. You spent your time making your fellow housemates feel exceptional, and we are sure they adore you for that. Of course, they really do. And even after the show, like when he hosted some of the housemates, like I know they will never forget me. That was a memorable one as well. Tiger the Tiger, Miss No Monsters and Cruise Queen, you were a force in the house, but managed to find your way without having unnecessary conflict. You held your high hopes for your acting career and all life has to offer to you. Mm, good luck to Tiger as well. <laughs> tiger, sorry, not Tiger. Anyway, Tiger the Tiger, so good luck to Mama Jam Jam. Sammy, hey Sammy, you were proud of your roots and made sure it was a part of your time in the house. We are sure your people thank you for it. Your quickie yet charming personality made you an adored housemate. We hope your active career takes you to the greater heights. Yes, cheers to Sammy and what is acting and directing career. We wish him all the best, just like Biggie is doing here. Boma the okra. You were no doubt a slick housemate whose time in the house was marked with a lot of cruise and slippery situations. Let's not forget the bouts of occasional drama and spiciness that came at interval in the house. May your acting career, which was always on your lips, continue to grow and get you all the accolades you deserve. Ah, Boma is already doing well, even in Hollywood 
level self. <laughs> anyway, Beatrice, you characterized your space and made your fellow housemates understand that there was nothing wrong with putting yourself first. You also did a great job in making the early part of the show quite spicy. We definitely will not forget the whole white card saga anytime soon. And one thing I know that the housemates will never forgive Beatrice for always making it look like she was the white card. You know, she distracted them from finding the real um, white card. Moving on to Angel. Angel, you were a champion for people being true to themselves and indeed practiced what you preached. You were unapologetic about your personality and fairy in standing up for yourself. We hope you get to fulfill your dreams and have the best of times. <laughs> Angel, the tweet is one sweet heart. Really, Angel was so unapologetic about her lifestyle and everything about her. White money, last but definitely not least, to the Odogo of the Shine Your Eye Gang. White money, you were a fun, hardworking, and tactical housemate who deserve every good thing coming his way. You not only gave us unforgettable memories but you also showed us that it was possible to navigate dicey situations with a calm attitude oh biggie this is so touchy anyway guys thank you for watching or rather thank you for reading along with me and please don't forget to follow my youtube channel please subscribe and hit the notification bell as well so you get notified anytime a new post pops up Please don't forget to share, comment, like. Thank you for watching. Bye.